guys welcome back to the crafty maven um, a bit ago you just saw the inspiration piece and it's got yellows and greens in it and I am not going to be using the yellows but I definitely was inspired by the greens there are some greens in this particular um, kit the Ally Edwards 2015 December daily kit that I really have been wanting to use so that kind of inspired me to use those looking at that inspiration piece so what I'm showing you guys right now is just that I'm going to be taking that heart off the end of the twinkle because I want to have that star there instead. And I absolutely love this star paper, but I also like the other side. So I was just showing you guys that I really like the other side. And I want to use that too. So on this one, I am going to be putting that star down with that rubber banner, but I felt it was getting lost a bit in that background paper. So I'm going to take this green color that's the one I was telling you I was inspired by from the inspiration piece and that I really wanted to use um, it has some really pretty greens in this kit so I thought I would use one of these labels that I have not gotten off the sheet yet I don't believe and then I'm going to glue down this silver star that also came in the 2015 Ellie Edwards kit and then I'm going to put that banner down and the ends of the banner are just a bit too long so you can just use your scissors and trim the ends of the banner off it's no big deal that come off really easily so I really like how that looks it really helps to ground the star and then I'm just going to use some red liner tape to put the banner down. Um, it is recommended that you use the red liner tape as opposed to some of the other tapes because apparently the other tapes do react funny with the rubber charms. So it's best to definitely use the red liner tape. So I added a little foam to the ends of that banner just because it was popped up a bit because of the star and that's what I did off camera. Now I'm just trimming off that heart that I will end up using somewhere else and then I'm gonna add this twinkle to the bottom and I want that star. Like I said, I didn't need that star or the heart, I'm sorry, on the twinkle. So I just trimmed it off ever so gently and it left the twinkle looking just perfect. And then I'm gonna stick that down and add the dot on the eye on top of that. And then I'll just glue the star down with some adhesive. Those stars are actually self-adhesive, but I took off the adhesive in order to remove move the embellishments around the page a bit. Now I'm going to take these thickers. I absolutely love these, and they work perfectly with the stars. And I'm going to add the number 15, or 14, I'm sorry. Today is the 14th, or at least in my December daily, it's the 14th. And then I'm going to pull out these labels again. I really, really like these labels, like I had mentioned earlier, and I've been wanting to use them. And I felt with the inspiration piece, this is the perfect opportunity to use them for this post. And I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to the back. They are self-adhesive, but as most of you guys already know, the chipboard thickers don't tend to stick very well, so I'm just adding them on with some liquid adhesive. And now this is a picture I showed you at the very beginning of a, kind of a stylized photo that was taken of the lights that we were seeing, so I thought that was just kind of cool. So I made a really small, I think it's about one and a half by one and a half, or maybe maybe even be a little bigger than that but that's what that is right there and then I had mounted on some white cardstock and I didn't want it at the bottom I didn't like how that looked so I'm gonna play around up here and try to figure out the best placement so I'm gonna end up putting the number 14 at the very top the photo right below it and I really like how that looks and you as you can see there is some writing on that vellum piece um, on my YouTube channel if you went back to my YouTube channel froggy251 the link is below you can see December 13th layout um, I've already posted that on my channel and you can see where that font is coming from and how I did that it's basically stamped on vellum and embossed but that is in the video that I have on my channel so I'm just basically putting things on the back of that. And I don't really mind that it has the words and they're backwards. They're very kind of scripty French words. So it just looks like a nice design element. And the vellum that I used is pretty thick. So I just think it adds a little character to it and doesn't bother me that it's gold. Because again, the vellum is there. I'm covering a lot of it up and it doesn't bother me that you can see the writing through. So now I felt like I needed some grounding of that photo at the top. So I added some washi tape. And then I did my journaling on my, I think I did that one on my, typewriter and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of the washi tape at the very bottom and then that's pretty much gonna be it that um, ends this layout like I said this is day 14 of my December daily I was inspired by the greens in the inspiration piece and I hope you guys will play along I love the colors in this inspiration piece the yellow and the green so it'd be nice to see what you guys come up up with as well and you can post those videos or even videos or photos on our Facebook page we love when you guys join us if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Crafty Maven, we would love for you to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. And here are the still shots. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.